Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 1 of Super Mario World. Let's get started. I am going to go on... I'm going to go on B. I'm just going to start a new file. Single player. Welcome! This is Dinosaur Land. In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again. Dang it! Looks like Bowser is at it again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Peach does not seem to be able to stay away from being kidnapped. So we're going to start off here at Yoshi's house. Uh, this is Yoshi's house. He's got some little birds and a little fireplace. Very cozy looking area. Hello. Sorry, I'm not home. But I have gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser, Yoshi. Okay, well, we'll come back later when Yoshi's home. Looks like Yo looks like Bowser captured um, more than just the princess. So, anyway, this game, much like Super Mario Bros. 3 on the Nintendo, uh, has an overworld map which you can uh, travel on, like this. Um... And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with Yoshi's Island 1. All right. This is the uh, video you see in the introduction. Actually, this is not true. That is not true. This is not the video that you see in the introductory video. Um, we got some enemies. Um, you know, then you got your mushroom. I don't know what these are called. Um, but whatever, they're dead. They die. Oh. So not only can Mario jump normal, if you press A, he does a spin jump, which will come in handy soon. I will show you. Get that, as you can see at the top of the screen, that little box, I have a, um, a spare mushroom if I get hit, or if I press select, I can bring this mushroom down. If I had a different item up there, I can switch between items however I want. Now these blocks, you can hit them from below, and break them or make them spin, but if you hit them from above, um, with a spin move, only if you're big Mario, uh, you can actually break them. Uh, and this is how we get our first dragon coin. If you collect all the dragon coins, I think it's five of them, in a level, you get an extra life. We've already collected three so far. I think we only need two more. And that is the halfway point of the level. I'm talking a lot in this first level. I'm not going to be doing this every time. Uh, but if you die, you start off... Um, at that point and that dotted line that'll come in uh, that'll that'll come in later but anyway <clears throat> point of advice you can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen to use it press the select button I've already covered that thanks though hop up here get ourselves another one you can slide down these hills very cool and down here we're gonna hide so we don't get hit by the bonsai bill over here we're gonna do something cool we're gonna go ahead and grab this look okay first first screw up already this is amazing okay let's see if it came back it did indeed okay if you hold it and press up and then let go then you can kick it up okay yeah <laughs> well, that was embarrassing <clears throat> We are running out of time, so I need to hurry. But uh, for this first level, I just wanted to kind of explain a few things. Um, if you kill enemies with the fire flower, they turn into coins. Uh, let's see what else we got. I've got some coins here. And here we collect our last one. These guys are... I forgot what they're called. Chucks? Ju ch jumping chucks? They're annoying. But he's dead. And that big tape, the higher up you get it, you get more stars. Um, and when you collect 100 stars at the end of the level, you'll see up there it says it's star time 17. If you collect 100, you get to go to a bonus stage where you are uh, eligible for some extra lives. <laughs> so that is basically uh, how the game works. Now, excuse me, I do have a bit of a sore throat. Uh, I might be muting some coughs here and there. So apologies for any edits. <clears throat> now here... Uh, we have a switch house, which every single one of these, those blocks, those dotted lines I showed you in that level. Um, once I press the switch here, every single one of those in the entire game will turn into yellow blocks. Um, and there are different colored 
uh, switch palaces all throughout the world. Bam. Switch palace. The power of this switch you have pushed will turn dot 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 into what? Your progress will also be saved. Thank you very much. And we disperse all the blocks all over the place. Save, continue. Now, if I went back into that level, that one block would have been filled in. We're not going to do that, though. We're going to head over to Yoshi's Island 2. And here, I'm going to grab this and get myself a one up there. You see this block? That would have been dotted had I not gotten to Switch Palace. But I did. And here, we have our friend Yoshi. What, what? Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me. My name is Yoshi. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg. That's okay, Yoshi. Let's go together. Yoshi was born. Hold on. <clears throat> to do a spin jump, press the A button. A Super Mario spin jump can break some of the blocks and defeat some of the tougher enemies. Yes. And also, if you're on Yoshi, that's how you get off. Uh, but anyway, Yoshi was uh, like meant to be ridden. He 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 comes with he comes with a saddle. You know, I, I, a lot of people think that you know Mario abuses Yoshi, but if you look at it, if you really look at it, um, this is this is how this is this is what Yoshi was bred to do. Um, I think it's going to talk about the halfway point. Yes, this is a gate marks the middle of the area by cutting the tape here. You can continue from this point. Very interesting indeed. Now, once you have Yoshi, if you ever open up another Yoshi's egg, you will actually get a one up. So it's good to have Yoshi. Oh no. Oh no. Come back, Yoshi. Oh no. Yoshi. There we go. Well, that was unfortunate. <clears throat> That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump off here, climb the vine. Yoshi has uh, very limited climbing abilities. Um, That's okay. We'll go ahead and. Now these uh, these guys are you know a bit of a pain in the butt. <clears throat> That's okay. Uh, we have this block. We can go ahead and get, our, get ourselves another mushroom here. And this um, this uh, would have been a, a death pit, but because we did the um, the switch palace, it became a uh, a safe spot to walk. <clears throat> now here, I believe it's th this one. Yeah, there we go. All the, all the other ones are coins. I still remember some stuff about this game. Yes, I do. A little piranha plants that Yoshi is going to munch on. And we're going to go ahead, jump over this chuck, and try to get ourselves as high as we can. We got 30 stars this time, which is not bad. We're almost halfway to a bonus game. This is actually, I'm um, already at 14 lives. Uh, that uh, Yoshi's Island 2 is actually one of the better worlds um, in the game. One of the better stages in the game to get extra lives early on. There's going to be some other ones that are better. Um, <clears throat> but that's one of the better ones. Um, it is possible to fill in the dotted line blocks. To fill in the yellow ones, just go west, then north to the top of the mountain. Yay. I don't know why I came back in here. I really have no explanation. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to Yoshi's Island 3. Okay. Point of advice. The big coins are dragon coins. If you pick up five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario. By area, they mean like stage. So here we go. Now, we filled in the yellow blocks earlier at the yellow palace. Uh, and that's why uh, <clears throat> some of these death pits are not going to be death pits. They're going to be safe to walk on. That doesn't mean we can be careless. We have to be careful still, I believe. I want to say I can drop down here. Yes, I can. <clears throat> Perfect, perfectly safe to do so. Same with down here. You can fall, um, but you actually have to go up, up top um, if you want to uh, get on the platform. Uh, you, can't, you can't reach it from below. <clears throat> and I didn't mention this before, but... Eating uh, the, the, the shells of the Koopas themselves give you different powers. So, like, um, the green shells, they don't give you any power. <clears throat> but the red shells, if you eat them with Yoshi, you can shoot fire. Like, like so. And the different ones will give you different things. Here, we're going to drop. 
land on these blocks safely and then go into this bonus stage where we're going to press the switch and use the coins to walk across the lava pit and safely make our way over here. So if I, ate, if I had eaten that green one, uh, it wouldn't have given me anything, it's just a shell. When you stomp on an enemy, you can jump high if you hold the jump button. Use up on the control pad to jump high in the shallow water. Okay, uh, an interesting thing. Eat the shell. Bam, bam, bam. I think that's the only one. Okay. <clears throat> Don't need to jump high. I am going to take this fire flower. Uh, it is better than mushroom. And we're going to continue on. I don't think there are any yellow. Ooh, that one tricked me. Uh-huh. That one goes side to side and then up and down. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Go ahead and get up here. Snag that dragon coin in a second here. Okay, then make our way. All right. We're almost done with this particular stage. Um, I believe with these blocks, you have to come in if you get a certain coin count. If you have a certain amount of coins when you get that green block, I believe it turns into a one-up. Um, I did not have whatever coin. Maybe it's time, maybe it's time-based. I don't actually know. Get that, okay. And, ooh, got it, okay. 24 stars. I'll have to look into that green block thing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's it might be time based, or it might be coin based. I I don't actually know. Yoshi's Island is uh, my least favorite Yoshi's Island stage because it's a water stage. Big big unfan of these. Um, I'm gonna try my best to uh, not. I think if you come up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to bother. There's a secret up there somewhere. One of those platforms way up high. Um, there's a secret. So if you... Uh, I think it might be this one. I don't quite remember. It doesn't matter all that much. I'm going to go in here instead uh, to avoid all the water and stuff. What does this say? If you are in an area that you have already cleared, you can return to the map screen by pressing start, then select. So true, if you are about to die, say for example, you may, you missed time your jump and you're about to fall to your doom. <laughs> um, you press start real quick, pause the game and hit select. If you've already beaten the level, you can go ahead and um, skip to the, skip it and not die and head straight back to the, uh, to the menu, uh, to the, uh, <clears throat> What's it called? Um, I'll think of the word. Uh, the map. Oops. Well, that well, that's not what I wanted to do at all. That stinks. What I wanted to do, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I know I missed a dragon coin. Okay, I, I am aware. I probably should have gotten it, uh, but I didn't. What I wanted to do is hit that P-switch so I could walk across the surface of the water. And that's okay. And we didn't get the fifth coin. I saw it and I didn't get it. I don't know why. What does this say? You get a bonus stars if you cut the tape at the end. If you collect 100 bonus stars, yes. We already talked about that as well. Got it. 27. Not too shabby. Two coin, two stars left. So as long as uh, the next level we beat, well, it's a castle, so we won't be getting any stars here. Going into our first castle, though, um, Yoshis are not allowed. They'll soil the carpet, you see. So Mario will go in alone. And this is the level. Um, let's see. Uh, press up on the control pad while jumping, and you can cling to the fence. To go in the door at the end of this area, press up also. This is where you can get the most coins, uh, lives. So by hitting these guys on top, on their heads like this, no, oh, he, he went on the other side. It counts technically as jumping on them. So 
you know if you jump, I think it's on eight enemies in a row, um, you can get an extra life. This is a Mario staple. And it just so happens that if you do this while you're on this fence, it also counts as jumping on them. So as long as you don't fall off the fence and you continue to jump on these guys, it will count. So we're about to get a ton of lives in this particular stage. Just got to make sure we don't get hit by the Poodaboos. And if this guy will come back. Now, you don't want to dilly-dally too much. There's one life. We're about to get a second life. Yes, sir. We're about to get a ton more. Don't you worry. Like this guy? No chance. Get that guy. Get this guy. And we could have gotten more over there. But uh, we need to hurry because we do run out of time. Now here, we want to be careful. <laughs> you don't want to get squish squashed. Trust me, it does not feel good. I'm going to go ahead and duck right here. I don't need that. I do need to hurry, though. Come on. Oof. I hate this. I hate Iggy. Iggy died. Iggy die. Got to knock him into, into the lava. Oh, jeez. This guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, one more. Come on. Oh my god. Seriously? Get over there. Stay over there. Oh my god. There we go. Good grief, man. I, I find him so difficult. He's really not that hard. But he's one of my least favorites. <laughs> Can't believe it. Almost died. How embarrassing would that have been? Jeez. Oh, All right. So we go ahead and explode the castle. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land, <laughs> the most delicious of lands. Yum, 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 yum. Save and continue. However, we're going to be saving Donut Plains for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Super Mario World, and I will see you next time.